Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. Today we've got 2022 Topps Museum Collection and we've got four master boxes that we are going to rip open. Each mini box will contain, so each one of these, this is what's known as a master box. Inside there's four little boxes. Each mini box will contain one on-card autograph, an autograph relic, a quad relic, or a regular relic. So lots of great stuff in these. This is usually a fan favorite. I love opening these up year in and year out. So we'll get to this in one second. Before I start ripping these, I'd like to remind you, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, if you'd like to join as a channel member, there's also a little button that says join, a little blue button there. If you'd like to sign up as a channel member, we're giving away this Julio Rodriguez at the end of the month. Try to get the first comment in this video and uh, one comment per channel member. We'll pick a winner at the end of the month. Now let's get into this. So these boxes are a little over $400 a piece on most websites. And there are 100 cards in the base set. And guess what, guys? We're going to see Julio Rodriguez rookie card in the base set, along with Bobby Witt Jr. and Spencer Torkelson. So let's go to get started. Ben F is the sponsor of this box. If you'd like to grab a box of these or, a, you know, in any of our breaks, grab a spot. We sell all of our spots on Patreon. There's a link in the description if you'd like to sign up there. We'll be breaking more of these this Saturday in the Saturday Showdown. So there's a look at what the box looks like when it's all set up at the card store. Always like to do that. I would always do that as a kid. If I ever got my hands on a wax box, I would open them all up and just pretend like uh, I had a little card store in my room. Not, but just open the box and have the pack sitting there and then I would open them all up within like maybe a day. I could never wait. I could never just look at all these unopened packs. All right, so here we go. Ben F, you've got the first box. Here's your first mini box. Here's your look at the design. We've got Ricky Henderson on the front. The backs of the cards are going to look uh, pretty much like it does every year with Museum Collection. It just kind of gives you their career stats along with a most recent uh, little blurb. And here's our first hit. It's a tall, uh, it's a tall Hall of Fame. It's a Hall of Famer. Tom Glavin, not that tall, but out of 99, it's a Tom Glavin quad relic. First hit in the books. Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer, 300 game winner, and Shane Bieber. Number out of 150 for Ben F. as well in the books. Box number two. So you can kind of, by process of elimination, figure out who's coming up or what type of hit is coming up. You've got the quad relic out of the way. We're going to have two more autographs in this box and a regular relic. So let's see what we've got here. Feels like a small stack, so probably an autograph. There's Spencer Torkelson, one of the big three. So if you thought you had to have to wait around until update to get one of their kind of base rookie cards, not so, as you can grab their base rookies, at least for museum collection in this set, which is pretty nice. Hunter Green rookie card in there as well. Very nice looking card right there. Hunter Green, of course, there's about 100 plus miles an hour. Tony Gwynn, next card up. And here comes the auto. It is going to be an Austin Barnes out of 299. So not particularly exciting right there. Nothing against Austin Barnes, but, uh, you know, we had a Tom Glavin in the first box. So we're hoping for another big name there. And Corey Seager having a pretty nice season is the last card for Ben. So Ben will have an autograph relic and a relic coming up. Let's go into this next box and see what we can find. By the way, we'll have an, an auction tonight, a consignment auction. I hope you can join us for that. Be auctioning off a bunch of Thomas's cards. So come on by tonight and uh, see what we've got. And if you like what you see, maybe place a bit on some stuff. There's Bo Bichette having a great week. Had a three home run game a few days ago. Jose Ramirez having a great season. We've got Royce Lewis rookie card. I think that's the first time seeing a Royce Lewis rookie card in a flagship release. And next up, we've got a nice one here. It's Andrew Jones. And that one is going to be a... Andrew Jones, what? Andrew Jones, I guess I'm still in Spanish mode from teaching Spanish all day. Andrew Jones, dual relic bat and jersey, and a nice sticker auto on there, and Helio Ramos is the last one there. All right, so, Ben, here is your last box. We know that you have a relic in here, so let's just hope it's going to be a big-time name. Maybe a Hall of Famer again, that would be nice, a regular relic we have. Mike Piazza leading things off, and Pete Alonso from the Mets. We've got a sketch card, Raphael Devers from the Canvas Collection, and it's going to be Pete Alonso out of 50 as your final hit. Last, we've got Cody Bellinger numbered out of 150 for Ben. So, Ben, thank you very much. Best hit in that box. I mean, Tom Gladwin was nice, but the, uh, the Andrew Jones is probably the most valuable, I would imagine. We've got... Three more boxes to go. So let's go ahead and get Robbie Martinez. He's actually got two of these boxes. So, Robbie, best of luck to you. 
Now the rest of these again we'll be opening them on the Saturday showdown on Saturday night. We've got two full cases of these bad boys to break through and I think, I haven't put them for sale yet, I think I'll do them by the uh, mini box. So that way it's uh, you know a little more affordable to buy in. These are over $400 a piece uh, for a master box. So if I do it that way, the price would be just slightly over 100. But anyway, Robbie's up next. Let's see what we can find here for you. All right, we start things off with Babe Ruth. Once again, I thought we saw him earlier. And there's Nolan Arenado having a great season. And there's Jordan Alvarez. Speaking of great seasons, Jordy's having a great season, albeit uh, some injury concerns. Still 31 home runs near the top of the list. Of course, no one's near Aaron Judge. He just hit his 55th home run yesterday, which is pretty crazy. This Christian Yelich out of 150. He just hit a 499-foot bomb, albeit it. Coors Field. That's pretty impressive. But not nearly as impressive as 55 homers with still, there's literally a month left to play. I think the season ends on October 7th. Maybe not literally. Maybe just a day or a couple days shy of a month. But uh, I feel like Judge is going to get into the, into the low 60s here. There is a Dylan Carlson canvas collection card, and our hit is going to be Joe Maurer out of 25, so that's a pretty nice one right there. Joe Maurer, some people think once he's eligible for the Hall of Fame, he's going to get uh, quite a bit of votes. I don't know if he's going to get in on, on the first try, but the speculation he might be able to get in somewhere down the line. And Juan Soto out of 150, still in his Nationals uniform. Next up for Robbie, spot number two, his first of his two boxes. Let's see what we can find here. All right, we've got a Bobby Witt Jr. So we're only missing the Julio Rodriguez from the big three. And also probably find Wander in here as well. Wander, by the way, there's word going around that Wander Franco could be back very soon. Man, I was hoping that was going to be Bobby Witt. It's Witt Merrifield. Witt Merrifield is a dual relic autograph from Witt. And we've got Francisco Lindor. By the way, the Merrifield is numbered out of three. 99. All right, last box for Robbie from box number one. Let's see what we can find here in this one. Then we've got two boxes left in this preview video. Hope we can get some nice big pulls here. Hoping we can find the J-Rod. That would be pretty nice to find a Julio Rodriguez. He's card number 65 in this set. There's also some case hits as well. There's a framed autograph case hit and a jumbo relic case hit. We'll see if we can find one of those. We've got Jared Walsh, one of 50. That's going to be a regular relic, Jared Walsh. And there he is, Julio Rodriguez, the last card in the pack. So that is a nice-looking card right there. Julio Rodriguez having a great season, at least for me. I think he's the slam dunk American League Rookie of the Year. And, uh, you know, had an awesome showing in the All-Star Game Home Run Derby. Julio Rodriguez... Congrats on that one, Robbie. Let's go to the next box and see what we've got for you as Robbie has two boxes. Let's get right into it and see. Maybe we'll find a nice J-Rod autograph. That would be pretty nice. Go ahead and round all these up and get to the first one. Nice uh, picture of Vladdy on the front of the box. This go round. I always like opening up a case for the first time and seeing who's on the cover of the box. A lot of times it's it's a surprise. Lord Ace Guriel Jr., that's the quad relic. It's numbered out of 75. And we've got Alex Bregman numbered out of 99 with the purple border for Robbie. All right, next up, box number two. Mini box number two in this. Chip Jones is on the back. We've got Helio Ramos on the front. Another purple's coming up on the back. There's Ichiro, and the hit, it's going to be... And, and Andrew Jones, once again, this one's numbered out of 299. So no crazy, uh, crazy pulls yet. And Chipper Jones out of 99 is the last one. I hope we can get a big hit that's worth several hundred dollars in this preview video. If we don't, stay tuned for the Saturday showdown. It's probably going to fall there. All right, so next one up is probably going to be a relic it is going to be the wow man somebody loves andrew jones <laughs> and that somebody hopefully is robbie martinez that is a triple relic auto of andrew jones it is an andrew jones box we had a relic of him in the first box and now in this box we now have 
two autographs. So both of our autographs from this box are both Andrew Jones autographs, which is, I mean, it's cool. Andrew Jones is a great player and everything in his time. Um, possible future Hall of Famer. We'll see if he gets in there. He doesn't have a lot of support right now, but maybe somewhere down the line he'll get enough votes. Here's the last box for Robbie. I bet you it's Andrew Jones. We'll see about that. That would be pretty crazy. And then Joe is in the on-deck circle warming up. We'll see what we can find in our final box of this preview video. There's C.J. Abrams back on the Padres. He was traded, of course, for Juan Soto. There's Mo. Nice card right there. And it's going to be Jared Walsh again. Another repeat out of 25. Jared Walsh. So kind of interesting right there that we've had two Jared Walsh relics and uh, a couple Andrew Jones um, autos as well. So, Robbie, thank you very much. You are in the books. All right, next up, this is the last one of the preview video, folks. So thanks for joining us. Let's see what we can find in here. This is spot number four. Good luck to Joe Francis. Go ahead and rip this bad boy open and see what awaits us. Hopefully a big-time auto. This is the fourth box, so it's it's literally a third of the case that we're opening up here in this preview video. There's 12 boxes per case. And uh, this is a pretty expensive product at $400 a box. I don't know if we've... Had any boxes that maybe have uh, given you a one-to-one -one return on your investment yet or, you know, your full $400-plus back. But let's see what we've got here in spot number four. We've got Hank Aaron leading things off. Hammer and Hank. There's Ken Griffey Jr. Nice-looking card right there. Next up, Anthony Rendon and the hit. It's going to be a nice quad relic there of uh, Hyunjin Ryu. Jose Barrios, Teoscar Hernandez, and Bo Bichette out of 99. Where's the big guy? They forgot Vladdy on here. Where's Vladimir Guerrero Jr.? I, I get that these are all great players. I would have liked to have seen Vladdy on this card. I think that would be pretty nice. Maybe replace Barrios and Ryu with maybe George Springer and Vladdy. That would make that pretty awesome. It's numbered out of 99 for Joe. And Max Scherzer is the last one right there. All right, next one up. So we got the quad relic out of the way. We'll have two autographs coming up very soon. Let's see what we've got here. All right, Ernie Banks on the back. There's Randy Johnson. Bryson Stott getting a rookie card. First time seeing him on any rookie. We've got a canvas card coming up. It's going to be an artist proof of Laddie. Very nice. And, uh, wow, that kind of actually sucks because there's no autograph in here. Artist proof of Laddie. Um, maybe it's it's not number or anything, so I don't know what that would be worth, but I'm kind of sad for Joe that there's no autograph. These are his base cards. I already took the uh, relic out and put that in the sleeve pile. So I don't know, Joe. I don't know what's going on there with that. I would say that they just shorted you a hit. So what I'm going to do here, and they, this has happened many times, unfortunately. It's not all the time. It's uh, at least a few times a year this happens. When Top screws up and does not give you one of the advertised hits, maybe your box is missing an autograph, maybe it's missing the relic or whatever, but I'm going to give you the UPC from the box, toss it in there, contact uh, Tops customer service, say you're in a break, you can even, you know, copy and paste the link of this video in there, then yeah, also maybe include your PayPal um, payment as a receipt of payment, because they want to make sure that you actually bought the box and didn't just pick up a you know, a discarded UPC off the ground at the card store or whatever, and they will make it up to you. So, Joe, here we go. Miguel Brujan, let's hope that the two hits are going to be autographs. That would be really nice. Um, I'd rather be missing the relic rather than the autographs. And there we go. Max Muncy, who's been coming on of late, has had a really rough season, but he's heated up a little bit recently. Max Muncy, that is a dual relic auto right there. Of Muncy and a Kyle Ripken Jr. on 50 is the last one. So there's the Iron Man. And here's our last mini box of this preview video. It's either going to be a relic or an autograph. I hope it is an auto. We'll see. Here we go, Joe. Final spot. Box number four. We'll open the rest of these in the Saturday showdown. Hope to see you all in the auction tonight for Thomas's cards. All right, we've got Mike Trout. There he is, Mike Trout. He's, uh, you know, has that back issue, but still doing pretty well. He's got some home runs this past week. Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Next up, there's Nolan Ryan, the Ryan Express, and the hit. It is going to be, it's oh, it's a Derek Jeter. 
Well, that's a nice one. Derek Jeter and CeCe Sabathia out of 50. So a numbered Derek Jeter auto. Both of these guys, you know, Jeter is already a Hall of Famer, but I think CeCe Sabathia will get in the Hall of Fame um, someday. Maybe within, I don't know if he's going to be a first ballot guy, but I feel like his stats are right in line with Mike Messina's. He should get in there. So that's a pretty nice card right there. So indeed, they did short you your autograph here, Joe. And Seiya Suzuki in his Cubs uniform there. That's a nice one right there. First time seeing Suzuki's card um, in any flagship. So there you have it, folks. That is 2022 Topps Museum Collection. A quick look at it. We'll be breaking the rest of these boxes on the Saturday showdown coming up this Saturday night, along with some other stuff as well. I usually like to do some Series 2 jumbos and go after those J-Rod short prints, Bobby Witt short prints, and the uh, J-Rod and Bobby Witt autographs, which uh, we've had some pretty good luck pull those so thank you very much for watching i hope you guys have a great rest of your thursday no throwback thursday today we kind of flip flop the videos my case of museum collection was delayed a day because of labor day so i just did my throwback thursday video that i was going to do yesterday with that universal treasures box that was awful and really terrible but uh <laughs> go watch that if you want to watch uh, uh it's it's rough so just uh <laughs> If you want to watch and check it out, if not, I will see you tonight in our consignment auction for Thomas's uh, card collections. Thanks very much, and I'll see you all tonight. Good night, everybody.